Hello comrades and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be working out chest, shoulders and triceps. So push day. Today's workout is mainly focused on shoulders. So I like to split my push days two times a week. One is shoulder focused, one is chest focused. Now we're going to be warming up first of all on muscle activation, starting on what you're familiar with seeing, a cable external rotation. I'm gonna be doing both variations this morning, this morning being 5.30 in the morning, starting on eight to 12 reps each side, obviously keeping your elbows nice and tucked to your torso, getting their full external rotation out, bringing it down nice and slow. Yes. Ah. Just got back from the Thailand trip, so you would have just seen all the Thailand videos that I just posted up on my channel. If you haven't seen any yet, click right there to see the full playlist of all the videos. Bloody such a good holiday. It was definitely needed, my first international trip. So I'm already looking forward to the next trip. Getting the first workout in, coming back, recording it for you guys and girls. Then as mentioned, I'm gonna be doing the next, oh, I'm gonna be doing the other variation of the cable external rotation. And again, these are for your rotator cuffs. So the vertical version now, keeping your elbows in line with your shoulders as you rotate up, controlling down. Same rep range, eight to 12. And I'll be doing two sets each exercise and for each arm. Looks like all the lights just turned on. Looks like a disco in here. <laughs> uh, at least the footage is gonna look more aesthetic now. You're in for a treat today in today's workout. Well, I'm going to absolutely smash today's session. Even though I only have one chest exercise, keep in mind, it is shoulder focused. So I do three shoulder exercises, one chest and one triceps, but that chest exercise, I absolutely destroy my chest. Very good. A lot of random noises happening in this gym, I swear. Yeah, bloody gym's haunted. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, I swear, I do not know if you just heard that. What on, no one's in this gym by the way. What was that noise? Bruh. Bruh. Am I tripping out? What is that noise? What the nanny? Now, jumping into circumductions for the next warm-up. This one is obvious for your shoulders and rotator cuffs again. Then, switching into forward arm swings. Into crossing your hands, switching them up to down. Ah, oh, this feels so good. I know it looks simple, but this is so, so good. My chest, as well as my shoulders, are on fire. That's a good sign. Might just do one set, this set, that's it. I'll get into my working set after this, and we're good to go. Very good. Exercise number one is a machine overhead shoulder press. I'm gonna be doing four sets here. Set number one, 50 kilograms between 13 and 15 repetitions. If you've seen my training, you'll know that I prioritize 
time and attention over everything. So two to four seconds on the way down, explosive on the way up for one second, always. Thirteen. Fifteen. Eh, super easy comrades. Moving into set number two. I was in a rush <laughs> to get this camera set up and recording straight away that I forgot to set up my watch as to when I start and stop my workout, which tracks calories burnt etc etc so let me just quickly get that started so i can also keep you guys and girls updated throughout the workout as to how long these sets are taking my rest is taking and overall how long the workout took so my second set here is 75 kilograms i'm going to be aiming for 12 repetitions uh, oh, so what I just saw now, I like to tuck my scapula into the bench, bringing my elbows down, feet super flat, which you can just barely see. And my lower back, lower lumbar is flat against the bench. This is the perfect setup. Like the only thing working here is my shoulders, nothing else. <laughs> might have miscounted but I think that was 13 I think that was 13 yeah sometimes I swear sometimes I forget mid set how many reps I've done so I do an extra one sometimes okay a slightly further setup this time that way you can see more than usual to give you a better understanding of how it is that I set up and perform each rep on the machine overhead shoulder press now I'm doing the full stack, which on this machine is 93 kilograms. I'm gonna be aiming for 10 to 12 reps, worst case eight reps, but that's still low range hypertrophy, which is perfect. Oh, damn, I forgot how heavy this was. Oh my, Whew. just 10 reps, I'll tell you, my neck and traps are about to pop. Ugh. That was a lot tougher than I thought. That's the thing about going on holiday, ladies and gentlemen. Especially when I was in Thailand, you would have seen that scene. Then 10 days, I only trained once. That's the big problem, very big problem. Perfect, so fourth, Final set here on the overhead shoulder press. This is the only set today. So usually the first exercise of every single workout, I do four working sets. Today being a shoulder focused push day, starting on a overhead shoulder press is essential. Same weight, same reps. Us. Yeah, no way I'm getting more than eight. <sighs> but I will do a drop set actually. From 93, 94 down to 36.
yeah, I'm done. Four reps of 36, can't get more than that. Jumping into exercise number two, we have the chest exercise for this workout. My top three exercise of all time, the Smith Machine Incline Chest Press. Now you can set up the bench at two different angles. For today's workout, I'm setting it up at a 45 degree angle. Usually my preferred is a 30 degree angle, so slightly lower. But because it is a push day, it's fine either way. It feels just a chest workout by itself. Most definitely I'll keep it at 30 degrees. Now, we are doing 60 kilos. To start, we are only doing three working sets today. I'm gonna to be doing about 15 repetitions. Let's go. Hopefully this doesn't smack the mic. Oosh. No, we're good. That's bad. Pausing for half a second on the bottom and driving up explosively. Same tempo as the overhead Smith machine. I mean, the overhead machine shoulder press. Yes. Two more. Wow, my chest, believe it or not, is already thrashed after that first set. What the hell? Damn, son. Next set, we'll do, or next two sets, we'll do two 20s each side. I took about three minutes of rest, moving into my second working set. This is gonna be the top two sets for the chest exercise of this workout. Aiming for 10 reps. If I, if I can get more, then I'll push for more. Let's go. Just, just got 11, far out. I'm gonna take another three minute rest. <laughs> Halfway. <laughs> Last one. You know what? Sack it. I'm gonna do a drop set. All right, nice and easy moving into exercise number three. Back into shoulder exercises for today. One of the best exercises of, of all time for redeltoids, the chest supported double cable face balls. I'm doing 27 kilograms, 15 repetitions. I'm looking to pause for one second at the top coming down for four seconds, explosive back up for one second. So let me count you through it, ready? Drive up, squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, then back up again. That's one rep for every single rep. Squeezing at the top and don't underestimate mind to muscle contraction here.
And last one. <sighs> Perfect. Set number two. I've completely maxed out the cable rig. 36 kilograms and I've set up the camera in the perfect angle to basically see exactly how I set up and perform the exercise. Let's go. Aiming for your forehead from start to finish. Yes. Last five. Go. <clears throat> nice. One more set, exactly like that. Same weight, 36 kilograms, same reps, 15 reps, tool failure. Last three. Not a single rep more, hell no. We're just one hour into the workout. Add the extra 15 minutes from when I didn't start the Apple Watch. We're about an hour and 10 minutes into the workout, including warm up. We're moving into the tricep exercise now, the forward leaning triceps dips. So not exactly a tricep isolation, but a compound exercise for tricep, where we're targeting not only our triceps, but also our chest and slightly a bit of our shoulders. So uh, no weight, no weight assistance either. Just body weight for 12 to 15 reps. And fifteen, nice. I can very easily add some weight, but what I'll do in the next sets is just slow down the time under tension. Second set here on the forward leaning dips. I'm just gonna increase the tempo as mentioned, and that's the only change. If you can't do this exercise, just add negative weight. So use the machine here to assist you in lifting or performing the exercise. Yes. Damn, I can't even do rep more. I think I'm on 11. Let's just work on negatives. Far out. Two more. Last one. My goodness. Believe it or not, even though I only did one chest compound exercise, my chest is more thrashed than even my shoulders. Final set, let's get it. Hopefully I can do <laughs> more than 11 without having to solely, solely rely 
on negatives. Yes. Okay. Nope. Four more negatives. Damn it. So, usually around this point of the workout, I would wrap up. But you know what? Why not do two more sets? And it is going to be a seated dumbbell side lateral raise. And I'm going to end the workout doing this exercise. I'm going to stick to eight kilograms. Let's hope I can even get 12 reps. Let's go, let's go, okay. The workout has been going for an hour and 20, an hour 25 minutes. A little longer than what I typically stay in the gym for, but why not? First workout back from, from the trip. That wraps up the final set, and that wraps up the entire workout. Hopefully you enjoyed the first video back from the Thailand trip. Content moving forward. Comment down below what you'd like to see moving forward. Obviously the travel videos are finished for now anyway, up until something else is planned. I could do quote unquote, travel videos in and around Sydney, New South Wales, so we'll see how we go about that one. But if you'd like to see specific content, comment that below. So, drop a like, drop a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you beautiful people in the next video.